I might have to stop motor vlogging until I can figure out how to blur out the speedometer because the shiz just got real. So last night, we threw on a new set of LA Choppers Hammerhead 14s on this bad boy. And El Guapo likes them. He likes them a lot. I was doing a whole lot of crushing miles and relaxing and not caring when I got places. And then all of a sudden we put these on. I most definitely don't even feel like I'm on the same bike. I want to thank the two subscribers who told me this was the, bu the bars to get on. And I want to thank Cycle Fanatics for closing the deal. I had been following Cycle Fanatics for a couple months, but I missed the part where he talked about installing the hammerheads. So when a couple guys were like, hey, you should really check out these new hammerheads. You need some info on it, go check out Cyclo Fanatics. So I just started scrolling through his content until I found the bars and how excited he was. And he must be a calmer person than I am because I'm just all, woo! This is fabulous. I gotta see if this camera's gonna, angle is gonna work or if I gotta modify this a little bit. But man, if you're a Dyna bro and you just jumped on a full size bagger, these are probably the bars for you if you don't wanna drop 3,500 bucks on a T-bar kit. Everything is just more natural, more smooth. I know they always say nothing changes a bike like the bars you put on it. And I've always agreed with that statement, but I never knew a set of bars could actually change a bike this much. So if you guys were not aware, yes, I do occasionally go places that have traffic. But I try to stay out of Colorado because the roads are so jacked up. You know, there's, there's parts that you buy and you can review it after a couple thousand miles. This is one of those changes that you just instantly know this is a 9.5 out of 10. And the only reason why I can knock off half a point is because making these turns right here when we did the pull was an absolute nightmare. It probably wouldn't have been so bad if I didn't have heated grips. Without the heated grips, in fact, it, the left side would have been pretty darn easy so if you've been following along with the channel you know that in the vision the priority first and foremost was comfort luxury crushing miles and these are bars are exactly where I wanted and needed them to be the next thing that we're gonna look into is rear suspension. I'm sure that's probably no shock to you. Oh God, I kill myself. Hopefully that is the worst dad joke I ever tell on this channel. But I'm having a lot of trouble because I'm really unhappy with the rear fender that's on this bike. 
there's a lot of options to clean it up with Ciro 3D or toss in some custom dynamics. There's also options that I like such as the Dominator rear fender from Advan Black. That one has me pretty excited. But it kind of depends on what rear shock I'm going to go with is going to dictate a lot of things about the rear end of this bike for reasons that are far too long and numerous to get into on a single moto vlog video so I figure we got to cut this thing up into pieces because there's like nine questions just to narrow down the rear suspension the rear shocks So I feel like we need to start out with remote reservoir, piggyback reservoir, or inline rear shock. And have you guys tell me what you think about those three options. And you don't have to go into some long dissertation of educating Wyo on every single individual shock that you've ever thrown on a bike what you liked and didn't like i can find that kind of stuff on forums i'm looking for just a long story short of those three options which is your favorite and why just sweet and to the point like oh i like remote reservoirs because the life expectancy is double either of the other two options okay appreciate you you know like that's that's the kind of stuff I want to hear that way we can narrow it down and go okay now we're only looking at piggybacks or res remotes you know God, I love these bars. I don't want just the whole video to be me saying, God, I love these bars over and over and over again. But God, I love these bars. It's just pulling them out of the box. You could feel that there was enough metal there to last a very long time, but not so much metal that the weight is ridiculous. They provided uh, another set of clamps, mounting hardware, so that if you didn't want to put the stock Harley all the way out here, then you could do that. Like, sweet. I like it. Maybe I'll put the original back over here. But I'll put like a cell phone holder or a cup holder right here. I don't know. I didn't need any extensions. I did have to cut everything loose. If you're looking for more of the details on this install, you can check out the Excess Choppers blog. I'll try to get a link down below down below and <laughs> let's just say that we were highly trained ridiculous unprofessionals just having a good old time didn't go into a lot of effort to shoot and edit at all the perfect angles they have a different style than I do but they're local they pretty much know their stuff they have a very high standard of work 
Oh, and I do have to correct myself. So in the previous video, I said that excess choppers couldn't change a tire for me. I was apparently mistaken. They showed me the tools last night. So my apologies to excess choppers El Presidente for spreading misinformation, brother. I just wanted to cruise through a pretty busy area by my standards and make sure that these upside down mirrors were absolutely on point for me. I mean, compared to where they were on the old bars, they're actually not that much lower. If you have a road glide or a road glide special, you want to get these bars. Like, I don't think that the three moto vloggers I was able to find with these bars really drove home the point. If you want something that's just comfortable, kind of gets you in the right posture, depending on your size, they got three different heights. There's tons of room to angle these things to get them right where you want them. And bringing your hands in together three more inches really just tightens everything up. It's crazy. Get these. I'm in no way, shape, or form sponsored by LA Choppers. I paid every penny from these from everybody's best friend, Dennis Kirk. These bars are just amazing. But yeah. Maybe if you aren't prepared for Sturgis and all the craziness that they got going on and the super twisties, you might want to find somewhere else in the Midwest like this. Just absolutely breathtaking. Just enough twisty to keep it engaging. Or if you're a less experienced rider, this might be the adrenaline of your life. I am considering going to the Stubborn American Party at Adam Sandoval's K River Campground. But I burned up all my vacation time to go hit by Oktoberfest where I'm hoping to meet up with a company and discuss some ins and outs of rear shocks. Dude, even just doing the biker wave feels more natural, easy, left, less effort on these bars. It's just ridiculous. I have never in my life spent a better 350 bucks. Not even that time in Korea, but we're not gonna talk about that on YouTube. But first. This will probably be the longest video I ever put out, but I just can't say enough about these bars. I've only ever purchased one other item from LA Choppers, and that was shifter and brake pad extensions for my wife's Sport Glide price was right the quality was absolutely on par with the price that I paid being able to mount the mirrors 
under the bars like I'm used to on the Dynas that I used to roll with. Feels very intuitive, very confidence inspiring. I really feel like I know what's behind me. And I'm just rambling on and on. All right, we're gonna call this one quits. We're almost home. I'm finally ready to review the windscreen. And the seat is almost broken in. We're gonna finish that break in sometime there and back out to Moyers, Oklahoma to go check out the stubborn American party. Imagine a couple thousand Chad Prathers all on motorcycles and you'll know what the stubborn American party is going to be like. Stay tuned for more adventures because we're going to go into some more questions and really start narrowing down the rear shock. Hopefully if you're watching every video you'll call me out if I ever make a joke as bad as the probably not a shock to you. Remember not to press all the weird buttons on your screen if you want to see more of this content. Later guys. <laughs>